Hey guys, before you enjoy this lovely video, we want to give another shout out to Miranda who was on last week. She has been promoting us on her podcast, so we owe her the same. Um, on the Studio Creator app, she is at Miranda's World, and don't forget on Spotify, her and her two friends are on the name My Life is a Joke. I almost forgot it for a second because I'm shit-faced in the middle of editing uh, this episode and wanted to record this. But yes, check her out. We owe her a lot. She's gotten us a lot of subscribers. She's gotten us a lot of views on her episode. So if you're a fan of ours, please go check her out. Welcome to the Den of Departure Game. The following podcast was recorded by two assholes who were drunk, and may contain offensive language, jokes, and occasional death threats. Man, my voice sounds so fucking cool. It puts the lotion in the basket. Alright, Derek, now I want you to guess what happens next. Well, the fact that what you're thinking is he's going to hit that guy with the stool. So my guess is he ends up like hitting himself or breaking the television. Hmm. Interesting guess. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay. I've seen this video. How did I not know that? So you were wrong. <laughs> The, the stool is in my way, man. The correct answer was he jumps through the window. Now, is he okay? Let's find out. Oh, seems all right to me. I'm a fucking champion! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. This is fucking, this isn't even drunk energy. This is fucking meth PCP energy. This motherfucker was handed a joint, and he did not know what was in it, and now he feels like fucking Superman. Here's the problem. You see that glass? That that's, hang, that's hanging? That glass is not tempered glass, which means when he dove through it, he had to have gotten cut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. No, he's fine, bro. Oh, he's wait. looking down. Hold up. How is there not blood fucking everywhere? Her daughter has an OnlyFans. All right. <laughs> oh, so I he's just like, he's it. like, hold on, hold on. The stool's in my, stool's in my way. Okay. okay he's like, me... He didn't want to break, he didn't want to break the stool, but he's going out that fucking window, man. Now, I got to be honest, when I started watching it, I my guess was that he was going to drop the N-word because the black dude was trying to hold him back. I thought he was going to be like, yeah, fuck off me, Jamal, you fucking... But um, <clears throat> when you... I don't know, where'd you find that, on Facebook? Uh, Yeah. It depends on who posted most of it. Good stuff. It depends on who posted it and who... Um, like if it was light humor or not, that that'll determine whether you're like, is this going to be racist or is it just going to be something crazy? Because <laughs> it, it's definitely like if you know, if a certain I, person posted, you're like, eh, it's not going to be racist. I always want it to be. I always want it to be crazy. I never want it to be racist. Yep. Yeah, well, I want it to be crazy. Like, what if he just like, if someone was like, look at this video where he picked up the stool and then put it down, and then he just like pat the guy on the back and that was the end of the video yeah there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing entertaining about that whatsoever right but if he patted him on the back and then was like you know what man you my we we it we lit and that mother and then the black dude just fucking jacked him for dropping end bombs oh, well yeah i mean that sure. would be a great video yeah but nothing compares to 
fucking the little swim move. We, I, I learned that fucking drill. It wasn't, drill. That, yeah, it wasn't a, that much of a For as drunk as he was, it was pretty athletic. Yeah. He could barely fucking stand. He grabs the stool and is all fucking wobbly, sets it down, convinces him, no, 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 no I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. And then fucking dips <laughs> underneath. As, as far as drunk, athlete, and then fucking plows through, stands up, uncut. Maybe one of the most athletic drunk things I've ever fucking seen. That's a good point. But I will tell you, and I, and I want to be politically correct here, I will tell you that the darkie didn't seem like he was too interested in the stop. The darkie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's bring back old-timey insults. This jigaboo. <laughs> Ugh. There's so many different horrible things to say. I know it. You want to talk about drinking, though. Let's talk about you drinking and the bad decisions you make while drinking. What are the bad decisions that I make while drinking? It's been, it's been, it's been a little, it's been long enough now. I'm ready to laugh about it. Wife is out of town. You come (laughs) over to to hang out. (laughs) So, Yale gets a bottle of wine, and I and I mean like he's not fuck you, fuck you. not just drinking wine. He's I'm drinking about, a bottle of wine. I'm about to fucking mute you, dude. <laughs> so I'm like the 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 night before we stayed up like real late. So I'm just like this night. I'm like fuck this. I'm going to bed. Can we you keep beeping you? Oh, uh, <laughs> so Yale stays up with a whole bottle of wine, and he gets bored, and he gets on his dating apps. Which one was this? Which dating app was this? I Fucking Bumble, probably. I don't know. Tinder, maybe. I think it was Tinder, I think he said. I don't know. He yells, go, swiping through Tinder, he's swiping through Tinder, and then he gets a real salute on the other line. Right? She's like... She's a nice lady. She's like, hey, I'm DTF. Uh, but we got to make this quick because I'm leaving my kids in the supervision of someone we don't re- I don't really trust <laughs> to have, to, which is her baby daddy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, the person that she doesn't trust to watch her kids, but only temporarily while she gets some dick, is in fact her ex and father of those children. So instead of being able to go to her house, you decide, let me go pick her up, bring her back to Derek's house, and then you were, th- and then, and then tell me, hey, I met a girl last night, but left out the fact, I wake up the next morning, you tell me that you met a girl, but you left out the fact that you brought her back to my place, that you were downstairs, you had coitus, in my room, in my basement. Defend. Drunk Yale is sad and lonely. <laughs> Dude, you would have got away because I, I literally thought that you went out, went away for it. I go downstairs and the futon is down and I'm like, son of a bitch. So you didn't you didn't clean off the futon. There's like a there's a sheet on it that you could have taken off to you know like so me and my wife didn't have to do that. And you left the wrapper on the floor. I, I didn't tell you, you that part. You didn't. Tell <laughs> I did not tell you. Listen, I, um, I also didn't tell Audrey that because um, I because we we you know she has off. A friend that watches this. She'll tell her this portion. It's not a big deal. I will no so longer we, be welcome back in your home. Do you understand what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this. And I, you know, this is all accusations. You have no proof of I, what I did. I could have been doing anything with the condom down there. So don't uh, don't accuse me. Fucking accuser. How dare you? <laughs> why is that so fucking quiet? Probably because you were. Yeah, I don't know. It was uh, when you were beeping yourself. It was easier, but fucking accuser. A little bit better. Uh, but you told me that you had uh, sexual relations with her. I. Do you have that on record? Not this type of record. Now, 
let's let's talk about this chick. Was she real salute? I mean, this was like two in the morning. So she was up late. It was and like, it was, let me leave my kids with my baby daddy who I don't trust. Like, I'm more, I was a little annoyed with you, but thinking back on it, she's a real piece of work. It was later than two. Oh my God. She's like, my kids are going to be up here soon. I got to go home. Look, man, a lot of things happen that I'm not proud of. Okay? <laughs> but. What was what was my only what was my only like thing to you though that I said? Cuz I really wasn't like I didn't harp on anything. I, I think don't remember. Only, I just remember the shame the following morning. The only the only thing I said was like, you know if my wife was here that'd be inappropriate. And you were just like, of course. That's all you put. You're like, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> it's like, of course. There's no way I'm bringing a girl. I would never I would never do that with your wife in the house. I would never disrespect Audrey. I would have I would, have, I would have stayed in the driveway like a gentleman. In the, in the, I would have done it. Dude, the if you would have let me know, you could have done it in my garage in the, in the you know, have a little bit of closure. I really didn't care. Uh, but there was ser- the clean the a- cleanup the cleanup is disres- is not doing the cleanup is disrespectful. That's, and that I, was dude, my main thing. You would have gotten away with it had you put the futon so, up and picked up the wrapper. I would have okay. Known. So let me tell you what a real piece of shit I actually am. I've, okay, this is just going to be shit on Yale episode and making sure that, that I never get late again. So uh, recently I had a, a casual lady friend uh, over for like the second time. and we are, were, you, are you about to tell the story that I, don't, that I haven't heard of yet? Um, the one no, where you're just like she's no. never going to be listening to this again. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. No, that Keep one, re- that one will remain off air. I have a limit to the type of exposure I'll give myself. No, uh, this one was um, this. So two weeks in a row, I had uh, people over for a party uh, after the end of the volleyball league, and as a result, my place was just a fucking mess. And, but this, Uh, this, and so both times uh, when this girl came over, uh, she saw my apartment a mess. And the first time she believed me because I was just like, yes, I was like, I had a party like the other night. I haven't got to cleaning it up. And she was like, oh yeah, whatever. And then the second time she comes in, it's way worse because the night before I got so drunk that I was vomiting like violently. So like the trash can was out. I've, I've been out of toilet paper for a month. And have been wiping with Clorox wipes because I just keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting to get toilet paper until I sit down. And I just... <laughs> you gotta get your life together, man. Dude, no I matter have a... what you're about to say, it's not gonna be worse than you just like forgot toilet paper for a month and a half. Uh, maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but it. <laughs> But it actually isn't. I'm pretty sure that's like almost exactly right is that it's a month. Oh like, my God. And I just, I literally, every time I just kept forgetting. And here's what a sack of shit I am. I just convinced myself it was better. Well, this is like using baby wipes. So this is actually like, probably better pro- for me. Probably I've never better. had a cleaner butthole. Never had a cleaner butthole. But yeah. for whatever reason, I had just had extra meaty thick shits at that point, And I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. That was I was scooping. It was a nightmare. Okay. It was an absolute nightmare. Like trying to clean a frosty machine as it's coming out. And it also reminded me of how bad this waxing is going to be because I can't remember the last time I wiped and didn't pull at least a couple of butt hairs out with it. So yeah. it's, oh God. We are a mere 21 subscribers away. But yeah, so she sees the state, like she obviously gets up to go pee at some point. Yeah. I don't have any toilet paper. I remember remember this the next day. She doesn't even bring it up. She hasn't spoken to me since. I remember her making a comment about, wow, this really is an ultimate bachelor pad, huh? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, I know. I got to fucking clean it tomorrow. And I did. I I cleaned it up and it looks and I bought some shit for my bathroom so it actually has like a set like curtain and mats and shit that fucking like match so it looks like I I'm not a fucking college kid living in his first apartment. But is that yeah. is that the same stuff that you had a problem with recently that you had to throw out? 
Um, that was actually the same person that left that evidence, not the person that discovered that evidence. Technically, I left the evidence, but that was a co-creation with that person. What I'm saying is, is uh, this makes no sense had, to anybody. No, you had a little bit of a of a overflow problem in your bathroom. I hear. Oh Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> I fucking I go. Dude, your life is such a piss ball of parts. It's literally shit. My life is literally shit. It's. <laughs> this is so great. So tell us about this. I, I don't know why the toilet clogged. It just did. And I don't know why it just didn't flush. But I flush, um, get up, walk down, sit down here because I'm getting ready to do some shit for school. And after a few seconds, I just hear whoosh, rushing water. I'm like, fuck. I get up and I walk in there and it's just toilets overflowing shit water. Just shit water all over the bath. The bathroom's small. You've seen it. It's fucking yeah. tiny bathroom. It's <laughs> it's just overflowing with shit water, and like, it since it overflowed at the bowl level, like some of it went back and got like wedged underneath the tank, which meant like so not only so I throw out the bath mat because it's soaked in shit water. Is, I use this is towel, what I was asking. I use a what? towel to soak up the water. I throw that towel out. I threw away my shoes that I walked in there with. <laughs> I threw out the shoes. Yeah, I lost a I lost a pair of shoes, a towel, and a fucking bath mat, <laughs> and about fucking a full roll uh. of paper towels, and then had to <laughs> had to scrub with a fucking toothbrush to get underneath the tank, like where the top of the seat meets the top of the lid meets the fucking tank. There's shit smeared all back in there and so i'm wiping it with wipes and scrubbing it with a toothbrush and then wiping with fucking wipes and scrubbing with a fucking toothbrush and i think what the problem was is that this is the first time that i was using toilet paper for the last month and the toilet wasn't ready for it it had got it adjusted <laughs> to the clorox wipes and the thinness and then a big ball of toilet paper goes in there and it's like what the fuck we weren't ready for this and just spews shit water and it took me fucking, that's how my day started. I woke up, I drank my coffee, I took that shit, and then spent the next three hours like cleaning up that little room because I had to get up all the water, then I had to scrub everything, then I had to fucking disinfect everything, I had to throw out all that shit, and then I had to throw out my fucking shoes. <sighs> also, going back to a point that, uh, that my brother Kevin made at one point, you clean up your entire apartment except for the one that dozens and dozens of people see. No, this one's actually pretty clean. Um, Doesn't look like it behind you. Like when you're there. Like, um, yeah, it's just uh, I got a backup computer chair with a box in it. That box is full of shit. There's like the benches behind me. It's just a small room. Yeah. This is like the meant to be like a kid's bedroom, I think. I mean, you can still. But it's kids my in there. studio. I mean, I have a den oh. that I share with my wife, if that counts. I mean, does I that guess. Not, does that not count? No. But uh, so, I got, I got uh, kind of, I was in my own head. I was a little bit nervous because uh, we just started doing Zoom meetings the last two days. That's what all my classes are. And I was thinking as soon as i started up i realized that i was using the microphone i was like oh shit they're gonna ask me and i was like i do not want to tell these people about my fucking podcast so i was like they'll think i'm a monster so i was just like i started like in my head i was like kind of distracted i was like thinking of like excuses so i was just like oh yeah um mm -hmm. i do uh i do a internet show uh but it only streams over in uh europe uh, it's politics, for, it's it's for a distant relative that lives over there. It's so that I can talk to him. I just didn't want to bother unhooking it. Anyway, nobody asked. Nobody gave a shit. Nobody gave it a second thought. And I was just like, and then at that point, I was kind of like, well, somebody asked me about it. Like, it's just. I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah, one I have person. professional recording equipment here. Come on, guys. So, someone went home or went to someone else and was like, dude, this guy had a fucking whole mic set. Oh like yeah, I'm, su I'm sure one of the in uh, in my sign language, like the actual learning sign language course, I'm the only guy. 
and it was just funny because when we uh introduced ourselves uh we had to say our name um our experience with sign language a fun fact about ourselves and our preferred pronouns and it was just go ahead go give yours and never um zimzer and your highness uh, no, I no, no. Do. I mean, it was in my you, head. Yale, Yale Reams. Uh, what's your, what's your... Learned, learned a few classes online for free on the internet. I know the alphabet and I know some basic words. What's an interesting fact about Yale Reams? I haven't uh, had toilet paper in a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, What'd you see? What'd you get? I once got I once got threatened by a Mexican gang member in Finley, Ohio. Um, Sounds about <laughs> right. That's on par for Finley, man. I once shit myself in my sleep. Uh, <laughs> I did just that go too. through all the horrible stories that we've told on this fucking podcast. <laughs> Actually, okay, so um, we recorded a really fun episode with my friend Dave uh, and. It didn't fucking save properly for whatever reason. The Zoom chat it saves automatically. This one saved as a temporary file and couldn't be recovered. And but uh, you did tell a story <laughs> about me. And since this is the shit on Yale episode, you might as well go ahead and tell it again. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. So, so um. Yale had just gotten broken up with uh, by this sleuth that decided she wanted to go to Florida. And so he's feeling, he's feeling a little down. <clears throat> and we had a, uh, a dorm party where we were at. You weren't supposed to have dorm parties, but we did quite often. It's a dry campus. Yeah, which is insane to people. I can't believe it's still a thing. Um, so Yale got a bottle of Jack Daniels and said, I'm – this is my goal. Like, I'm taking this fucking thing down tonight. Uh, and, and to his – I mean, yeah, he was, I mean, he was damn close to taking all of it down. So I mean, I, pro I probably had, what, five shots left? Maybe maybe six? It, was, it wasn't much out of the, out of the bottle. It, I mean, it was probably – if you mixed a drink, it would probably be two more drinks worth. Okay, so probably like four shots then. Right. Yell at one point's like, I got to go – to the bathroom. I don't know. Because back then you used to hide. I I had a real, I used to think that I had to hide the fact that I was throwing up. That it was like the, the biggest mark of shame is if you admit that you were throwing up. So I would always hide it. Like even in public bathrooms, I would, uh, I would, I would like squat with like my pants down around my ankles and like my feet facing forward. And if I had to throw up, I would just stand up and turn back and go Whoa. your life really is a because all in my drunk brain people are gonna look at the feet and not hear the <laughs> I was, god damn it's such a fucking moron that's so and then you also told me like that you added stuff to it you do remember bouncing from wall to wall oh yeah dude it's down a, the hall. it's a seven feet wide fucking hallway and i am i take off out of the room immediately hit the other wall hit the other wall and then after a few bounces i realize like oh if i just lean up against one wall and fucking hug it and i'm then i'll just slide You're like my tight hands rope walking against the wall no i'm just i'm face against it just like that's what i'm saying like tight rope wall, like cliff walking <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm on the ledge, like I'm on the yeah. side of a building trying to escape a burning building, and I'm just like that with my face mashed into it. Like, eh. So eh. Yale's gone for a little while, right? And uh, uh, Nicole cheerleader before she was woke had a, you know, she had a boyfriend at the time, and he was there with, with us. And I'm like, I'm going to go check on Yale. And he came with us, or he came with me. We walk in, and Yale is in the handicap stall because there was more. <laughs> I needed that fucking rail, dude. You trust yeah. me. And as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> that night I was fucking handicapped, all right? I well, was... <laughs> I mean, I, no, I agree because when I was there, I used the handicap stall too. Like, this ain't Disney World crutches. Fucking wait your turn, all right? I, I like the room. <laughs> so 
we go in there. Yale did not shut the stall door. And he must have been doing his sit on the toilet, turn and throw up concept. But while he was sitting there, he just decided to fall asleep. So we, we go in there, we open up, we, we push open the stall door, and Yale is just sitting there, no shirt on, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe he had a shirt on. I can't I remember. Think, I tend but to I, get I tend to get very hot and sweaty when I drink. But I so do know I, I it would make sense that my shirt was not on in that state. But we turn this we turn the corner of the stall and Yale's twig and berries is out. I mean, just he's just and he didn't he's he's not like he's not leaning or anything. He's setting up out, dick and balls out. Now we get him up, we we wake him up, we stand him up. And, and God bless the other guy because I'm holding Yale while he's pulling up his pants because Yale couldn't pull up his pants. <laughs> and then we took you and then you threw up all night while sleeping on the couch because you had the top bunk and you didn't want to climb up. It was awesome. I get like, I know that I've showered with you before because of football, but the sight of your dick and balls while you're sitting on the shitter was pretty dra- – like, it was pretty scarring to me. I don't know why you'd be afraid of something so small. It was – but it was just like – It's like being scared by a mouse. Like, grow up, pussy. Well, it's like – it's like you have this huge wall, you know what I mean? And someone's pointing a laser. You can't help but point, look at that laser dot on this huge wall. Like, I turn the corner, and I'm just like, I can't help but just be like, right there it is. You just, I, I stared you just, it at the eye. You, I stared it right in the eye You walk in. two minutes. You look in through the stall, and time freezes. It <laughs> did, yeah. What? God damn it. I don't understand why this is so fucking quiet. Hold on. See, that That's one's loud. loud. That one's loud. I made I hit the fucking car crash on the soundboard. Why is it so fucking quiet? I don't know. Um someone asked me to talk about this today cuz they just want this to be a topic. Uh if we if you were it's not bad. Go do it again. There we go. Eh, it's still pretty weak unless it's better on your end. Um Let's, Let's say that you were – there it is. That's better. That's, that's way louder. Okay, so I just have to crank that dial whenever I push a fucking button. You good, brah? No. <laughs> this pisses me off. I thought I had something awesome, and it's not fucking working, and I'm really upset. Okay, so let's say you're in high school. That's a good one for when people are bombing. Let's say you're in high school. You're hanging out with a bunch of friends. Uh, it's like a it's like a party, kind of, right? You're out in the you're out in the. For you, you're out. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me out. a minute to imagine this because I had no friends and went to no parties in high school. It's I not necessarily to, that. I went to one. You're, party you're in out in the country. And I got arrested. You're out in the country. That's not true. I went to two parties in high school and both times got arrested. Right, and one time a girl fell asleep on you. Now, three parties in high school then. <laughs> forgot about that one. That was, la- that was last week's episode, and I already forgot about it. I have fucking um, Alzheimer's. Anyway, you're hanging out with a bunch of friends, and one of the not-so-pretty girls is, like, taking a liking to you, right? Mm-hmm. You work it out that if you scurry off from the group and go into the uh, cornfield, She'll give you a beeger. Okay. You take it. You taking that? And when I'm in high school? Yeah. One hundred percent. High school me would have taken that. Now, no. But high school me, one hundred percent would have fucking taken that. I would have let. You would have bragged about it. Anybody that wanted to, t- no. I mean, if she was not attractive, I wouldn't have bragged about it. But anybody that wanted to touch my penis at that age was <laughs> yeah. going to be able to touch my penis. I know. Um, yeah. There is. There is. Okay. So. There's a kid getting made fun of for doing just that. 
What kid? Just a kid. Do I know this kid? No. One of your... I got you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's getting made fun of, and you're just like... Dude got, uh, that's, that's dude, got his cool. dicks, dude got his dick sucked, man, in a cornfield. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why, don't you, why don't you high-five him and move on? That's, mouth, that's my mouth thing. Mouth. I don't... Yeah, yeah. That's mouth what, to mouth, kids. Yeah. We, we told him that, you know, like... They're all the same if you just close your eyes. Plus, it's in the middle of a cornfield. You probably can't see real well anyway. That's a great story. Thank you. It's a great story. No, yeah, I mean, I, like, for him, not you. Yeah, you right. No, that's what I'm person. saying. <laughs> that's a great story for him. Like, he's going to tell that. You said he... thank you like I, I was complimenting your storytelling abilities. That's a great story. Thank you. <laughs> I did no, tell that well. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, you, you already know this. I take, um, I take credit when someone says, Oh, that's really cool. I take credit if if the person that did it mm. isn't here to take the credit. Hey, I take the I credit. like, like accepting an award for him. Hey, I fucking get it, dude. I'm with it. I do have one question for you too. This is another yeah. thing that got brought up. Okay. Did you guys give your jerseys out? Like the the oh the let girls jersey? let girls wear them. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Put yourself in high school again. Okay. For one hundred dollars. All right, hold on. Let me get in the zone. Yeah. All right. Oh God, here he goes. You're fat. You think you're funny. Everyone else thinks you're annoying. They joke about you behind your back. You don't want to admit it to yourself. Crazy ex girlfriend tried to kill you. Okay, I'm there. Go. Um. For a hundred dollars, someone someone says, "Here's a hundred bucks." You yes. Have to yes, I'll do it. I know it's pretty easy. The gay kid in school mm -hmm. think, thinks you're attractive. <laughs> Dude, high school me was probably too homophobic to do that shit. But me now, that would be fucking hell. I think that's hilarious. Hey, I'm funny it, enough. Not because it's, oh, oh, he let a guy. And that's so weird. That's why it's funny. No, it's funny because then everybody would be like, is he and it would upset other people that's why it's fucking right and then they go dude why the fuck did you let S steve wear your fucking jersey 100 bucks man and no I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even tell people about the 100 bucks and i was just like hey man don't ask me personal questions you worry about yourself that's right, worry about it. It, it, it would be it would be your own joke it'd be your own joke yeah. <laughs> no that's what um so i told you before that like my my cousins all were shocked that, you know, I had the potential to be funny at all because they're like, you're not, it was like, we've never seen you be that funny. I was like, cause that's cause when I'm around you, I do stuff that makes me laugh. And the stuff yeah. that makes me laugh is stuff that upsets you and jokes that I know no one else gets. Oh yeah. And then I chuckle to myself. <laughs> Dude, I say some horrific shit in front of my family. Just, just to get my mom like real pissed off. No, oh, you you fuckers. And it's funny. You fuckers. All three of you brothers fuck with your mom <laughs> in an amazing way. I yeah. fucking I love it. We we say some fucked up shit. I fucking love it, man. I'm proud yeah. of you guys for it. Yeah. Just just to mainly get a get a reaction, I suppose. I there's one more thing I want to talk about, but you do I know you have another video. We can get to that. I don't know how long this this is going to take here. Okay. But did you, which you probably didn't, did you pay attention to the VMAs at all? No. I know Machine Gun Kelly was. That's exactly right, sir. Holy. I I, exactly I just right. I just heard a comment. I haven't actually fucking seen that. Yep. Is that a cutoff turtleneck? Mm-hmm. And it's hot pink. Yep. He it looks is. like a goddamn bottle of Pepto Bismol. Dude, you could have like told me this was Lady Gaga, and for the first split second, I wouldn't have known. Because yeah. I, I can't remember if she's got tattoos on her arms or not. But yeah, you could have told me that this was fucking Lady Gaga, and for the first split second, I would have been like, oh, yeah. Wait, isn't that a guy? What the fuck? Dude, it is. Looking at I've never seen Eminem destroy someone so bad that they they changed genders on him just so he couldn't abuse him anymore. <laughs> oh, he has no problem abusing women. He beat the shit out of his ex-wife. 
Now she beat the shit out of him. Now he does it. He doesn't. So he's to he's, her. he's supposed to be a fucking badass, but he got the shit beat out of him by his fucking wife. If your girl was beating the shit out of you, would you beat her up or would you just? You bet your fucking ass. <laughs> Goddamn right. I slugged that bitch in the face. Listen, dude, I've never fucking hit a woman in my life. And I've had women hit me, but yeah. I haven't had a woman beat the shit out of me. If it gets to the level where she's beating the shit out of me, I'm going to tu- I'm gonna tune her ass girl? up. <laughs> dude, you know, I'm then I'm going to the fucking, then I'm going to fucking bob and weave, make her swing yeah. herself tired, yeah. hit her with the two piece and she's going to fucking sleep. That's right. That's right. Get her in that headlock, take her ass down. I said hit her with the two piece. I'm not, I'm fucking, I'm not, no, that's she, I can't get my fucking arm around her fucking neck. If we're talking yeah, about a chins. big girl, right? fucking chins, it's going to be impossible to fucking choke her. Right. But yeah. T- if that fucking, if that steak that she just yeah. hurled down her fucking throat, her gullet, didn't yeah. fucking choke her. You yeah, ain't. I'll fucking, I'll hit her in the fucking solar plexus yeah. and make her cough up that fucking dinner. Yeah. The full pork- fucking chicken wing bone comes out. Yeah. Fucking hit her in the stomach, a pork chop falls out her ass, you know. Eight mile. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dude, that is a very specific one. I'm, I am surprised you got that. Fucking movie quotes is what we do, man. That's it's, our fucking it's what we do, but I didn't know how well versed you were in that. I mean, yeah. Do you got another video you want to show? <clears throat> yeah, I'll fucking show you this video. You fucking little show it up, you little fucking slut. Hold up. Hey, hey, hey. I'm your, I'm your slut. <laughs> I know you are, you dirty little. Stop, you're going to get me all worked up on fucking camera. <laughs> going to get you little chubbers. Get you little chubbers. Hey, buddy, let me see that little chubby. Uh, hey, so our last video is doing pretty well with Miranda. Oh, fuck yeah. And I, I said that I was going to fucking give her a nice shout out. So uh, the name on, it's the Stereo Creator fucking app. It's Miranda's World. That's where she's verified on there now. Uh, she goes live. I don't know the dates, but 100% check her out. We've got, I've, she's got us at least, you know, five to 10 more subscribers. And we her the video with her hasn't even been a week and it's up. It's a hundred views already. Right. She's been shouting us out when she goes live. Also can check out. Has she really? Yeah. She, I, I talked to her earlier today and she said that she keeps mentioning us and she mentioned us again on uh, fucking My Life is a Joke, their podcast on Spotify. So, oh, that's so nice of guys, her. Yes. I thought she was sleeping with people to get us subscribers, but no, we I guess have just to, shouting no, us out. No, we have to sleep with her, remember? Oh, we, we have to get down on our knees and suck her metaphorical dick, right? That's you know, it's a power. Yeah. You can't. You know, you just, that's what you have right. to do. You suck dick to get ahead. So we, hey. have to, we have to do it in a metaphor. I don't know if she's going to put on a strap on. I don't know how that works exactly. If Harvey Weinstein, I mean, she's our Harvey Weinstein. Exactly. She's going to get us ahead. Of she's Harley Weinstein. <laughs> that was all. But yes, guys, check her out. She's, she's a lot of fun. Um, she is a woman, bear in mind, but she is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Our audience, um, probably just like me, agrees that women need to stay in the kitchen, barefoot and pregnant. Which is um, weird because I think that's where she does her podcast. That's where she <laughs> is in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Stay where you belong, Tramp. All right, let's. <laughs> All right, let's pull this shit up. But seriously, go go check her out. All of her shit is it's entertaining, it's funny, and maybe it'll give you if you're a lonely guy, maybe it'll give you an insight into the female mind. Maybe you'll be able to be less lonely. Uh, so what we have here is a common thing that happens uh, in the military, especially for MPs and certain units. Uh, the old getting tased. Oh, okay. Was, I love these videos. All right, I'm already in. I'm guessing you're pulling this up because it's extra goofy. Oh, wait. Hold up. I got to route the sound through. My apologies. Three, two. 
One, and we go. <laughs> the guy couldn't even take. He couldn't even take. Go back. I want to watch this again. <laughs> Dude, you got to get this guy's scream. So, here's the thing. On your sound so this, bar. this kid looks like he's fucking between 18 and 20. This kid's fresh out of high school. This is – he is getting – he is not expecting this. So he's – his voice has been uh, deep through puberty for maybe three years. He thinks where, he's – Where are they tasing him? The army. Uh, in a gym. No, I'm like, like, I don't see the taser. I don't see it either. Now, you see a hand off here to the right. Oh, maybe okay. Shooting him. I don't know. Maybe he shot him. Hey, yeah, see if we can see it. Here, let me make it full screen. Maybe yeah. we can fucking, maybe we can spot it. Yeah, there it is. Well, you it's hear it. Right you hear it go off, too. All right, I got to fucking see it again. The noise is so good. Yeah, he gets hit. You can see the prongs go into his leg right there. All right, yeah, go. This, this guy's firing the shot off. It goes in right here. All right. <laughs> yeah, because it's his leg that gives, a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you u.s army what the fuck uh i highly suggest following their facebook page <laughs> oh yeah i love those ones where like you know policemen get tased because why shouldn't they dude and um i'll pull a, i'll see if i can find the fucking video but one of the better ones is uh mps they have to get um pepper sprayed and then go through like a little obstacle course yes i've to, seen like, that they have to fight with like pugil sticks and they have to fucking subdue a suspect yep and um it's just funny because the one guy is like screaming kind of similar to that as he's just like ah I, I think I've seen that one, but I would love to. I'd love to watch it on here. That, that video brings me so much fun. You didn't have to do anything like that? No, I never got. Because uh, you weren't in the real military. No, I was in the real military. Oh. I just. Uh, uh, I know the only people I knew of that did that were MPs. Occasionally, or it, it also kind of depends on what unit you get sent to, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm glad we did it today. I'm in a much better mood than I would have been yesterday. Yeah, I'm so upset because the fucking the episode with Dave was really fucking funny. He told a great story. We'll have to have him back on. Oh, For and sure. um, let's go ahead and since we didn't get to introduce it last episode, since it's gone, let's introduce our idea. Um, we want, we really want you guys to. Okay, take me seriously here. Please inform us if you find this interesting or not we're going to do one trial episode of this so i had the idea um and talking with dave i remembered he was a fucking dungeons and dragons nerd hardcore and i always made fun of it fun of him for it uh we went to basic training together and we went to our army job training together and i always made fun of him for it i never took it seriously and as I was talking to him, I thought it would be funny to start a Dungeons and Dragons. Like, he would be the guy in charge, like, setting the rules and the fucking world. And we just don't take it seriously at all. And we keep fucking with the game as much as possible and make a joke out of the entire thing. I think it could be pretty funny. And if you actually like Dungeons and Dragons, maybe you'll enjoy it. And if you just like laughing, I feel like you'd also enjoy it. And let us know what you guys think about it uh i think we're moving forward uh probably the next episode or next two episodes one of them will well, be well, it's gonna be here soon but um, we just gotta I believe, work out our I talked schedules to, don't work. i talked to caleb he said on sundays he could do it and that he would do it uh, i just threw it out there to him because we needed like one more person to join yeah so um let us know sincerely let us know what you think about that idea and if you would be into that or if you would not be into that and if you would not be into that then you don't have to fucking watch it we're probably going to do Just it anyway fucking don't watch it you guys barely don't watch our watch fucking it. videos anyway you and yeah you little fucking fucker. sluts you the only people fucker. yeah yeah, yeah. fuck i forgot to change the fucking 
Everything's falling apart. My life is sad and empty. Yeah. You know what? My life is sad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let's try it again. Motherfucker. There we go. Yes. I love that. That's such a great drop. And you know what? We talked about it with Miranda and let's let's do the I need my mm, I need my protein. Let's just protein after my workout. <laughs> Is that you <laughs> did, what what did she need? Mm, I need my protein after my workout. But what if she was trying to get someone's attention? How do you think she would sound? Hmm. Hey! Probably something like that. <laughs> or she might even go... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Boo. You cannot say that, porn. That is, that is protein. called... Protein, lady. You yeah. can't say that. You can't say that on YouTube. My goodness, maybe when we get a Patreon. Maybe when we get a Patreon. I Dude, you should just, like, pick a fucking porn star and just be like, do you want to be on a podcast? That would be awesome. <laughs> Who the fuck? I mean, some, dude, here's the some thing. Some little All right, hold on. Star. Define porn star. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I could get somebody that is trying to get an OnlyFans going yeah. and have them come on and describe it. Yeah, I'm in. Someone who's se a sex worker. Er. Dude, dude, okay. What if we got a legitimate, like, street-walking prostitute to come on? Ooh. Uh, obviously, it has to be at your in. place. Yeah, it, obviously she would be at my place. I'd be paying for the hour after she was done with the podcast. Obviously, yeah. Would we have to pay her for the podcast? We are not. No, no, no. She'd come on the podcast to promote herself. Oh, she, she would come on the prod podcast, and would... in exchange, I would come on her. And that does could... not sound like a win-win for her. That that that's literally the opposite. No, no, no. It's a win-lose for her. So I, she gets jizz on her face, but she gets to promote herself to make more money. Which in turn gives her more jizz on the face, I know, but still. If you, if you legitimately know someone that's trying to start an OnlyFans, yeah. There's several people that are talking about it that like started off as a joke, and they're like... I, we were talking about, we're starting an OnlyFans empire with fucking Miranda. There, well, there's that, and then I've got the, you know, the handicap porn market. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think you're going to fucking dominate that market. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's like the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Speaking of it, man, you're looking buff, man. Did you, like, stand up on your own out of bed this morning? Look, you're looking low-key kind of fucking jacked, man. Well, to be honest with you, uh... Did you, was... actually, did you actually sit up out of bed? No, well, that's the thing, like... I went to get up and I didn't have enough momentum, so I like got a crunch in and then a setup. Like I did. Oh, dude, you did one and a half setups, dude. That's, that's fucking. Right. That's fucking noise. Yeah. God yeah. damn! Look at you. You're like. Hey, I'm a solid 198. I don't know why I did that thing with my mouth. Um, but. I mean, you're 198. I don't know if I would define it as solid. I mean, I was 200, and then I. I think. I think you. Lost and your shit are the opposite of solid. I think you're both pretty soft and mushy. Liquidy, almost. Yeah, it's... Like, it's... Yeah. It's, like, you, you you ever get that... What's what's that soup that you get at, like, fucking Chinese, like Chinese places? Um, miso soup, hot and sour soup, wonton soup. Um, I think it's wonton soup where it's, like, fucking... Sweat water and and then a like, giant ass like fucking kraken. Yeah, that's a fucking noodle. Yeah, one so, yeah, it's wonton soup. It's wonton, all, that, that's all that's, one big chunk. It, it's it tastes like you know like they wiped off the fucking grill and then just rang, rang it out in your bowl. Yeah, it's that's awful. why I'm a I'm a fan of hot and sour soup. 
either way, that's the consistency of my shit. That's just water. Yeah. You got it. It's, it's just literally water. It's like dirty sink water. Mm-hmm. That's what that fucking Kyle ever, can, that Kyle Kinane bit when he talks about foe. And he goes, if you ever wondered what's it taste like when a child soldier pours hot rainwater over fish nightmares, this is it. And I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. <laughs> like you ever take like just take a cup and pour it into water. That's what it sounds like me shitting. <laughs> That's also what it sounds like when your shit water overflows the lid of the toilet, by the way. Hold on, let's see. It might sound a little something like this. Nah, not, not getting nah, no. It's not. You're not pouring hard enough. It hit know. the it hit the ice cube, that's why. You got a giant ice cube in there, but very well done. Thank you. I'm fucking classy. Yeah. Um, the lady who I upset got me this glass. And this ice cube maker. Yeah. That makes big ass ice cubes. But you she she's she's your ho no mo. Ho no mo is a mutual decision. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I don't think so. It was I don't more know. I have no idea the situation, but I doubt it. It was actually more my decision. I felt bad because I, I, was, I was hurting the poor girl's feelings because she wanted something more. I just wasn't ready for it. And Did you tell her that you're a peacock? This, this really hurt her, but then she was like slowly forgiving me. And I was just like, before you fully forgive me, let's just – we got to stop this. I, I, felt, I, I would love I to talk to her. Horrible. Uh, she's funny. I'd love to talk to her. If you can get through her accent, she's really fucking funny. She barely speaks English. I would love that. I have thought about a mail order bride. Yeah. For you. Now for me. Yeah. I thought that was gonna be your next bride after uh Audrey leaves you. Which will inevitably I'm definitely happen. I no, I think I'll die before she leaves me. Now I do <laughs> I do have a good idea. And I, you say I, you're gonna die within the next year? Damn, son. If I'm lucky. Your marriage cannot last two full years. I refuse to believe it. Well, she I'm 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 assuming she'll be unhappy for at least five years before she gives up on it. You know what? Knowing her, you're probably right. She yeah. would she would think it was her fault and try to fix it before and she I would make it. I, w- I wouldn't I wouldn't you would never admit her. you would never admit that you had a problem. You would <laughs> right. absolutely shit all over her until it was her fucking problem. It's Actually, like, let me let me give you two things about uh, about my wife. Uh, just the other day, I got uh, I got the situa- I got put in the situation where, hey, I have a problem, but I'm going to tell you about the problem, but don't give me suggestions on how to fix it, even though there is an actual solution. Just just listen. needs to vent. Just, just needs to vent. Guys, don't do that. It's tough. It's tough. Well. Needless to but say, she told you beforehand, so now no, it's easy. No, no, she did not. Oh, you just said that she did. No, no, no. I said this is the situation I was in. She put me in that situation, but I wasn't okay. aware. That okay, now I suggestions got it. were not welcome. Okay. And so, it, it, what it boiled down to was me treating her like she's one of my football players. I'm just like using like I'm like coach. <laughs> I went into coach mode with her, uh, and then I she started crying, and I told her, "If you don't want a solution, don't tell me about the problem until you have a solution." It was bad, dude. It got. I'm just like, why are you telling me about like I'm trying to help you, and she's like, I don't want you to help me. Then why are you telling me about the problem? It was like this conversation just went in circles, dude. Uh, I what I've discovered. Is it like whenever this type of thing starts and it could go either way, I always go like, hey, do you need me to listen or do you want me to try and help? And uh, typically, if you, if you ask that, most of the times I've had them uh, go like, I just need you to fucking listen. If you can actually get them to fucking answer that question honestly, save so much problem. And she would answer honestly. And what we did yeah. is we we ended up like – 
we're great with communication. So the very, that night we kind of, it, it kind of was a, a agreed upon. We're like, you know what, we're done. Let's just stop talk about it. And then the next day we spoke about it. It's, it's over. That's why I'm comfortable saying it. It's not like an ongoing thing with us. We're great at communication. It's over. Yeah. But I got really worked up Okay. to the part now, where I'm just like, can I watch my show now? Can I watch my show? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. so the answer that I gave is the, um, you know, proper, psychological answer now yeah. the den of debauchery answer is don't put up with that bitch's shit dude if she does if she's gonna bring you a problem you offer her a solution and she doesn't want to take it how about you make her fucking sleep outside she, yeah well she rolled away from me like she turned her i'm like you better keep rolling out this fucking bed bitch <laughs> <laughs> you would never <laughs> no but one of my favorite things is like if she's like leaning over the bed to get something like on the floor or something i start pushing her out of bed that's one of my favorite things to do like if she's already leaning, I just start putting. You just start <laughs> doing like the fucking... like the dog when like you start petting the dog and gets all excited and it just. Oh, absolutely! That's exactly what I do to her. And then the second thing, I, I brought that's this... like that's how I have to reference it because dogs are the only things that consistently sleep over in my bed. Yep. Because I'm always alone. So there's a second thing uh, about my marriage. I brought it up to her. She's not real keen on the idea. And I want to start using this as an excuse. Now I could use this as an excuse to where like we're trying to do a podcast. I'm like, hey, sorry, running a little bit late. You know, uh, running late's mainly what I'm thinking about. Just really anything you can use it for anything. Okay. If I use this as an excuse, and the excuse is, sorry, <laughs> wife has a UTI. <laughs> Just the thought of just just using that as an excuse. Something that has nothing to do with why you're late. I actually fucking love that. <laughs> I don't know why this gives me so much joy. And she's like, don't sorry, say the that. wife's got a yeasty going on. Fucking nightmare over there. <laughs> hey, yeah, why were why are you late uh joining class? Like, hey, man, sorry. The fucking old ball and chains got a real case of the scratchies downstairs if you know what i'm saying he, i didn't know i was nightmare. a farmer yeah i got that wheat no. field down there i've already like uh it's oh. it would appear that like my professor has a good sense of humor even though i definitely had a swing and a miss on a joke today um just because uh they were asking like if they know anybody that's deaf in the class and uh somebody said like yes i have a professor that's uh that's uh hard of hearing and she was like she's signing and she has like interpreters along with her she's like i'm hard of hearing and then i just typed in the chat i was like oh man wendy's getting real jealous and then i put in quotes i was like you see another ha professor's hard of hearing and then and then she like she occasionally looks in the chat to like answer questions and she's just like i'm not jealous and then just like moves on to the next question i was like "Ooh, swing and a miss swing and a miss because I was, yeah, I cracked her up like a couple of times. But now now I'm like, my brain is thinking like, I have to win. Like I have to stay in the plus column with like jokes. So I have to like keep swinging. Yeah, you're definitely going to be like. So I, like, but it all has to be like visual gags or signs because, you know. Hey, when you came into the room uh -huh. the other day with your ass out, I think that'd be a good one. <laughs> Might I remind you, well, in this class with, with this professor, there is one other dude so in the two classes that i'm taking right now there are a grand total of two men one of them being me <laughs> so probably not a great idea no what i was thinking was coming into the room like in a covered in sweat t-shirt like three minutes late and then just like and then just like scribbling on a piece of paper and just holding it up, and it says, sorry, bike chain broke. I had to carry it the last two miles back to my place. And just, like, progressively getting more outraged. Like, start off with something simple like that, just something that's plausible. Every, that would, sing, that every single believe. day you come in with a it fucking get, wet shirt. It would get more and more unbelievable, like, a uh, broken bike chain. They're like, oh, that's crazy, and you're only a few minutes late. Like, you really must have fucking ran. But then it gets progressively more insane. As Sorry, I had to save plastic. seven kittens from a burning building. That's like, 
and I just come in with like blood. And then the one time I would just come in with like obvious blood on my shirt and they just not acknowledge it. And then like, they'll ask me like in the chat, like, Yale, are you okay? And I'm just gonna be like, Uh, it's like that office episode where they're like, oh, <laughs> Creed. <laughs> they're like, Today's oh, Halloween. You... That is really lucky. <laughs> Dude, we got to be ending that, uh, getting towards the end of this. Yeah, I know. We've been uh, we've been going about an hour. We, right. we had, this is one of the better ones. I enjoyed this. I did. I I had your fun. your life is a goddamn wreck. Dude, um, are we still fat shaming you? Yes, we are fat shaming me because today I bought two large pizzas at uh, Walmart. I only ate a half for dinner. I actually literally, for the first time in my life, didn't finish a pizza that I cooked. Now, granted, a large pizza at Walmart is the size of a fucking trash can lid. <laughs> So, right, so it's pretty difficult to eat the whole fucking thing. But still, fat shame, Yale. Fat please shame, continue, Yale. Please continue yes. to uh, listen to yes. Miranda, Miranda's World. Miranda, um, yes, Miranda's World on Studio Creator app. Um, my life is a joke on, on Spotify. Spotify. Um, she is helping us, so please help her if you're a fan of ours and not hers yet. Please help her out because she's helping. Anyone, anyone can listen, but I believe that girl, female listeners, yeah. if, if we have any, yeah. would really enjoy theirs. Because she was a big part of getting us more subscribers. And the more subscribers we get, the closer we are to you watching us in horrible physical pain as we wax each other's asses. Yeah. And we're, we're going to do like... Obviously, we can't show certain things. So, like, yeah, we're we'll going to cover it up. But, but you're going to see us from the I waist up, to, and you're. I want you to see. know. Yeah, I want you to know we're actually doing it. We're not going to fuck. We're not going to like. Hey, just act like you're ripping it all. You know, no, you're, we're actually going to do it. Yeah, no, it's we'll eat. We'll hold up the hair to the camera. It's going to be. It's going to be like forty yard virgin with you. Dude, honestly, I think it might be worse for you than it is for me because I'll be in more pain, but you have to handle the hairier ass crack while, but doing the actual ripping. And, yeah. I, I'll suck it up. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Dude, it's going to hurt so bad. That's such a fucking sensitive area. I, yeah. Oh, well. Get us to 100. We'll see. <laughs> and um, we're also... Uh, we're... We're working on expanding slowly. We're working on working our way out to different like audio mediums, your Spotify's, your Stitchers, SoundCloud, stuff like that. We are working on that. We're working on a website. We are working on big things in the motion. Um, as of right now, despite all the effort put in by Caleb, Miranda's like right right there with them in number one fan ter territory looking to take the prize which kevin, we're already kevin fell back a little bit so right now it's like i mean he uh, did he, kevin caleb's, did manage, caleb's got us a lot of subscribers caleb's gotten us a lot of subscribers but what his. have you done what have you done for me what have you lately? done for me lately eddie <laughs> um all right so please keep watching uh, like and comment on whatever you can. And uh, shit, I just lost everything. I can't see a fucking thing now. Like and comment, um, share it, uh, get more people to subscribe, and then you will see us in horrendous physical pain. I already have the wax kit that was taken care of. He's got the wax kit. I the have the wax kit. I am not fucking paper. around. I am not. You know what? Oh, man. It's just all set here while he goes and gets the wax. Wait. I'm not fucking around. Yikes. Brazilian. Extra strength. Fuck. <laughs> it's going to hurt so bad. All right. So. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, 
Derek, can you fucking like focus for the last five goddamn seconds of the fucking episode? Quit looking. No. At, quit looking at your phone. What do you What do you want from me? I want you to fucking focus. Okay. All right. Wrap it up. Let's go. You better plug it in. Fuck up. Yeah, it's too long. We got to have that bet. We're, we're working on it, guys. It sounds wrong. Wrong. You got it. I didn't know you got it. Wrong. Hey. Hey, one other thing Don't you can get. question what I get, all right? One other thing you should get is when he goes, China. Oh, we yeah. Can we, work that into, we can we work that into. China drop. Yeah, we can work that into a. <laughs> <laughs> to a conversation uh, alright well ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in uh, we love you all except for the ones that we don't peace hey guys thank you for watching the video uh, if you liked it please like the video uh, share it with your friends you can click on a video over here or you can click on a video over here or you can subscribe right here or wherever the fuck those things end up. And uh, be sure to watch the next one. Love you.